On a Vampire Hardcore Iron Man, the sun is my worst enemy. For six hours of gameplay at night, all content in the game is unlocked. During the next six hours of daytime, I can only be in Mauritania, underground, or in another realm. Thirty-seven tasks in a row. Very nice. Pyre fiends. Okay. Medium clue fifteen is yeah. seventy HP and eighty-three combat. There we go. Thirty-eight tasks complete and fifty points short of broad bolts. Shadow warriors again. Jeez. Sixty-five attack and eighty-three. We're inching closer to being able to use Neve for Slayer. No, I missed sixty Slayer. That's such a oh, what a nice level. That's Aberrant Spectres, which are a really solid task. 39 tasks complete. One more for that big bonus. Calphite. Not bad at all. Nice. So now I can do every task in the Mori Easy and Medium Diaries, as long as I get my hands on a Bronze Spear. There we go. Second kill. 200 Death Runes. Nice. Yeah, that's super worth it. Surprise 63 Agility. Lesser Demon Fence Shortcut. Oh, that's nice. That'll make me get to Blue Dragons a lot faster. So we are safely in the cave here to do the cow fight task at the end of nighttime. And hopefully the next thing we'll do is the diaries for Mauritania. There we go. 75 strength and 80, almost 84 combat. Nice. 40 tasks complete, 50 point bonus, and now I have enough points to buy Broadbolts. Jellies! Nice! My very first one. I can do that during the daytime. But for now, it is diary time, then barrows. There's the sizzle. All tasks. Beautiful. There we go. I've completed all the tasks, and I want my reward. All I get is the Ecto Tally, unfortunately. But the XP bonus in the Slayer Tower, and an Antique Lamp that is going to give me a quick... Oh. Never mind. I thought I was getting 49. First chest on the Hardcore. Oh, 150 death. All right. Not bad at all. Nice. Surprise 62 magic. Wind wave. Chest number 10. 262 chaos. Chest number 14. Oh, a DH helm. Number 15, last chest for now for the back to back. No go. 64 agility. Very nice. 65 agility. Time to go do some more barrows. Chest number 16, solid death runes. There we go, 63 magic though. That allows me to wizard mind bomb into the wizard's guild. Okay, last chest for a while, number 22. <laughs> More death runes. Sunset has arrived, which means it's time to actually go unlock superiors and do some slayer. Bigger and batter, unlocked. I didn't realize I was getting the level. That's 64, which doesn't get me anything, but 65 is Magpie Implings. First hard clue on the account. I don't want to talk about it. There we go, 61 defense and 84 combat, exactly. 63 magic paying off, got the mind bomb into the guild to buy some more law runes. Hand in the sand done so I can actually use the magic guild rune shop. And 51 crafting. Getting the quick recharge on the Ibn staff. Boom. Beautiful. 15k cash. About a quarter of an agility level. And the quick route to get my clue scroll done. Second hard clue on the hardcore. Eh. Not too bad. There we go. That's 62 defense. And a quarter of the way to 85 combat from 84. There we go, 61 Slayer, nothing till 63, but some nice progress. There we go, 71 hit points, and we are now halfway to 85 combat for using Neve for our next Slayer tasks. 63 defense, 41 tasks complete, hard clue number three. I don't know if that Ancient Page is a duplicate. Oh, there we go, not a duplicate. Two Ancient Pages, two Bandos Pages. Cave Crawlers, the dream. Nice. <laughs> Superior number two. Okay, 42 tasks complete. Two superiors with no good drops. And it's time to grab another. Bronze dragons. Oh, there you go. 43 tasks complete. Trolls, not bad. I just got 49 herb identifying uh, or cleaning an herb. 
There we go. 64 defense, 85 combat. So now I can use Neve during the daytime or nighttime for Slayer assignments. 44 tasks in a row, over 200 points again. Task number 45, first from Neve. 185 cow fight. That is a great task. I went ahead and alk my rune kite so I could buy a dragon battle axe. Now I can use this super attack potions and restores to be fully supered up when I am doing slayer tasks. With nighttime winding down, we're safe in the cow fight lair. 65 defense. There you go, 62 slayer. This last cow fight is 45 tasks complete. Cave slimes, nice. That's just a quick one I can do. Okay, 40 t 46 tasks complete. Lesser demons, I can do that one too. 66 agility. At long last, that is 70 agility. There we go, sunset is here, and it is time to brighten things up and go do some slayer and farming. 53 farming. Bitter cat mushrooms, which I think is also a diary thing. There we go, 66 defense, four more levels. There we go, 47 tasks complete, time to get a new one from Neve. Bloodveld, finally. 67 defense. 68 defense. 63 slayer. Spiritual rangers. 72 HP. 86 combat. There you go. 48 tasks complete. Over 100k cash. Couple loop halves. And almost 600 blood runes. Ew. Gross. I'm actually going to skip this. Oh my. You got to be kidding me. Well. Alright. We're skipping this one too. Okay, there we go. Trolls. Nice. Go kill some ice trolls, make some money. There we go. 69 defense. There we go. 49 tasks complete. Back up to almost 200 points and over 200k cash. Cow fight. Not bad. I'm gonna do the small ones. That is 50 tasks complete with that beautiful point bonus. And now I have plenty to buy the Broadbolt unlock. So if I sell 10, look at this cash just flowing in. So I can sell all my blood runes for 200 each. 520k cash, so I can get 55 fletching super quickly now. That's awesome. Task number 51, fire giants. Nice, that'll be a good one. I can do it in the catacombs during the daytime. Sunrise has arrived. We are safely here doing our fire giant slayer task. 70 defense, beautiful, man. So I can wear Barrow's gear, uh, crystal gear, and I can also eventually get piety for the Mortania Hard Diary. The surprise, 48 prayer and 1250 total. My first total level world I can go in. There we go, 64 Slayer, one more level to Dust Devils. Task 51 complete, almost 400 points. Surprise milestone, Willow Longbows. There we go, 45 Fletching and I can now make my Myth Arrows. There we go, 50 Fletching. Blue Dragons. That's a good task, but I can't do it, so I think I'm going to give it a skip. Shadow Warriors. I can't do that one either. This is the last task I'm willing to skip. Cave Horrors. I don't have a way to get to them. I think I'm going to keep that task, though. There's other stuff I can do during the daytime. Random Barrow's Chest. Yeah, pretty bad. 50 Herb Lore. Where's my XP drop? Oh, 26k. 53 to 55 cooking instantly. I go 76 strength while doing some temple trekking. All right, so that is over 2.2k raw lobs from temple trekking, as well as a bunch of like nail beast nails and stuff. And the daytime is winding down. I shall reappear in the north. There we go, ranged and fletching. Nice, I forgot about the fletching. That's actually really good. 52, helps me get to Broadbolt soon. Godric has returned home. Troll stronghold complete. Go to sleep, buddy. 52 thieving. All right, that's a comfortable boost with the bandit's brew to do desert treasure. There we go, gonna unlock broader fletching. And got 1k unfinished bolts. Oh, I got it, I got it. Uh. Okay, 970 broad bolts. I will take it. That's plenty to get a fire cape with, I'm pretty sure. And that is 65 cooking, which will allow me to make pineapple pizza and get cooking XP really quickly at the mess hall. With that, every lobster is cooked. We have over 2.2k, and we only burnt one. 
at long last. That is 70 cooking, the requirement for recipe for disaster. Now all we need is DT and to finish the subquest. Hi, aren't you the charmer? Yeah, I mean, what can I say? Oops, I just used a ring on the bed. There we go. Throwing a miscellaneous complete. I don't have time to do royal trouble, but we'll get that one done during the next night time. With night time ending, we are safely in the cave to do our cave horror task. 1.3k Slayer XP and holy insult heads. 52 tasks complete. There we go. Tears of Guthix finally complete. 160 quest points. 117 tiers for the first one ever. 1 to 10 runecrafting instantly. Awesome. Snakeskin boots for the fire cape. 63 range and 73 HP as we start the fight caves. About time. An ugh, 2 hours 16 minutes. I thought Broad Bolts would speed it up more, but thank goodness, Fire Cape, finally.